Oh, you're going to be oh, talking to Oh, yeah, okay. the whole time. Sorry, okay. I was going to say, um, the camera's not even there. Not even there. Have you ever seen a green-tailed boa? So when I first became single, Jet was young, you know, five, six years old. I started selling homes about 10 years ago, and daycares don't work at night. And so um, he would have to come with me. I definitely had a lot of guilt of... Is this the right career? Is this um, doing the right thing for him? But it's what I'm good at. And, and so I just kept pushing and pushing. So here we are inside, uh, four bedroom, three and a half bathroom. I'm not gonna flip around. And yes, I have a selfie stick and it's awesome. One thing that's been tough is finding out how to trust somebody again. My wife had a couple surgeries and the doctors prescribed pain pills, and eventually she was hooked on them. She was healthy and happy when we got married and then uh, totally turned into a different person. Learning about addiction was a total eye-opener. And for about three years, I tried to help her. And we had rules like, hey, you can't go here, or how can I help you? And, and it was kind of like I was a warden. When we got divorced, um, I sent her through rehab, hoping that she would come out the other side and, and finally be a positive thing in my son's life. Unfortunately, she uh, still struggles with it, uh, and she's been out of his life um, completely for four years. Say hi, Jet. Hi. You like your new bike? Yeah, I do. The hardest thing is trying to figure out how to juggle everything like how do i work and have a career and still be there for him and trying to figure out the balance of of what i want in life and what i want to give him in life it's the daily thing that i you know I, I feel like i'm working too much and so i'll pull back and i'll spend time with him i kind of refocus on what's important i got some really good advice that i just always go back to and because i'm so hard that i want to be perfect. I want to do this perfect. I want to make the best dinner for him. I want to help him with his homework. I want to make sure his hair is always combed and all these things. But so this parent told me, you know, I was breaking down with her and, and said, hey, I can't do this on my own. Like, what am I going to do? And, and she says, did he eat dinner? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, can you still have a roof over his head? And I said, well, of course. She's like, some days that's good enough. And I still go back to that. Some days you just make it through the day and think, okay, tomorrow I'm gonna I'm gonna go that extra mile. As a guy, a lot of men aren't that nurturing. We're that tough. Hey, they fall down. You're like, get up, and you're all right. I've really had to work on bring that level up of snuggling him and comforting him. We all just want to get validated and, and have a hug, you know, for as long as he wants, and everything else can wait. <laughs>